trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 21 verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1 verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken put your name there are you ready to read one to read and the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has declared that this is our miracle service for the month of October. And he will do as he has spoken. In the name of Jesus. Just to guide us through a few things to challenge our faith. And then we'll get to the business of the night. Um... I found some very interesting things while I prepared for this service and I just want to challenge our hearts in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Genesis 1 28. The Bible tells us how that God made man and God gave him specific instructions. Genesis 1 28 was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was a command are we together and when God gives a command we are supposed to obey it says and God blessed them and said unto them the first word be fruitful he said unto them he didn't say there's an opportunity to be fruitful and I hope that you consider it it was a command be fruitful then he says multiply multiply reproduce yourself and your kind and then he says replenish the earth and subdue it he says and have sovereign control or dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so God made man and gave him Adam an instruction and in that instruction he said be fruitful it was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was not his opinion for your consideration are we together now the same way he said ye must be born again that means ye must be fruitful be fruitful and then he says multiply the best description of this verse is found in isaiah 32 verse 15 be fruitful and multiply he says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then he says the wilderness see the levels will be counted for a fruitful vine that's a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's not fruitfulness that's multiplication are we together so he says be fruitful meaning if you are not fruitful something is making you live in disobedience 
is not about your benefit. You are insulting the command of God. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish. Subdue. Have dominion. And you see, it is in the character of Satan. Listen, please. It's in the character of Satan to carefully hear what God has said. Because his assignment is to prove that the lordship of Christ is a mirage. And so his, the, the, his assignment begins only when God speaks. Satan cannot do anything if God has not spoken. Because his job is to make the word of God of non-effect. So he listens carefully and he's patient. Isn't it interesting that even to destroy you, it is activated at the coming of God's word. If God has not said anything about you, Satan has nothing to do to you. Because his assignment is to oppose the word of God. So I could imagine Satan carefully paying attention to the speakings of God. And when he told man, be fruitful. I can imagine Satan telling the demons, assignment number one, barrenness. Multiply. Keep people in one place. And so he goes around attempting to insult the integrity of God's word. To the end that our conviction about God will be questioned. And then ultimately we will lose trust and confidence in him. Be fruitful. Multiply. Be fruitful. Multiply. Be fruitful. The concept of barrenness. Listen, listen. Barrenness is not the absence of a child. Barrenness is the absence of results. Any kind of result. Any kind of results. The inability to produce desired results. Children. Finances. The level of influence. The level of growth. Any any um, activity that is able to inhibit us from producing to capacity is called barrenness. Are we together now? Jesus did not hide his opinion about barrenness. When he saw the tree that had leaves and would not produce figs, the Bible did not say, let's give it time, as it were in other parables. He usually, it was in his culture to be patient, but not with barrenness. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It was in the character of Jesus to see an unfruitful tree. And then say, okay, give it time. Maybe they didn't water it well. But when he was aware it was barrenness, he cost it immediately. Are we together now? We do not serve the Lord for results. However... At a point in our Christian experience, there must come a time when our lives will begin to relate with the possibilities that are in God. This relationship that we call results prove two things. Number one, the love and the goodness of God is important. The goodness of God is a dimension of his glory that reveals his benevolence, his ability to freely give. There is such a dimension of God's glory called his goodness. Are we together? And so barrenness is a very dangerous force. Do you know while I was studying, uh, preparing for this miracle service, I discovered, generally speaking, but specifically to barrenness, now fruitfulness, fruit of the womb. Do you know it is said that six out of every ten families, six out of every ten families have one kind of, of fruitfulness or fertility problem where was barrenness when our grandparents gave birth to 15 children without CS I'll tell you where it were those our parents were idol worshippers so there was nothing to attack so one woman gave birth to 15 children without twins one 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 under hot fire with knives and yet after 15 children she would stand strong but the moment you declare that you are signing to another government 
Satan now came up with a system to stop the continuity of God's agenda. Listen, let me tell you, there is a bridge between us and the next prophetic speakings of God. Most of our parents and grandparents did not give their lives to Christ or did not walk in the fullness of the system of the kingdom. We became the fruit of that carelessness. Somewhere along our journey to adulthood, God intercepted prophetically and started leading us to understand the systems of God. And already that, that is a transgenerational threat to the gate of hell. Because the meaning of that is that a generation will come that does not know wickedness. A generation will come that does not know father fighting mother. A generation will come that does not know um, all these kinds of things. There will be a generation that will corporately lift up the name of the Lord. And Satan said, no way. So the first assignment is to stop your faith. If it happens that you have passed that level, then he now finds a system to keep you alone with your conviction till you die so that it will end the process. Are we together now? Hmm. Let me tell you something. Reproduction is a powerful thing. It's not about giving birth to children. It's about reproducing your values. It's about giving God more space. I hope you know that without a material body, God cannot find expression. And not everybody can host him. A body has thou prepared for me. So our generation is preparing bodies. And this is a threat to the gate of darkness. Barrenness is not about refusing to make you take in. No, it's not about impotency. No, barrenness is an agenda. It's an agenda to stop any platform that can create continuity of people raised after the image of their fathers and mothers who are themselves after the image of God. Our dispensation was the first to reveal the possibility of reproduction through birth. Every other dispensation before our church age had creation, not reproduction. Are we together now? And so God will create. The celestial beings were created. Now when God created Adam, I hope you know that Satan was once in heaven. He had never seen the possibility of reproduction through birth. That a man and a woman can come through a system of reproduction and give birth to another human being. It was not part of his understanding. So when Adam and Eve fell, he knew that there was no possibility again. And then to his surprise, he saw Eve pregnant. Now this was strange. He didn't even know the name of what it was. What causing this woman's stomach to protrude? After nine months, here comes another person. And Satan knew that this is a strategy. That means whatever is in a man can be reproduced through many children. That means a woman can actually hold a child. I told you women are gates in the spirit. Women are gates in the spirit. That's why demons oppress them. It's not gender. The only gates that can authorize another life to be made flesh. So barrenness is an agenda. Marriage is just the focal point of that warfare. But that's not the only place. Are we together? There is nothing that gives Satan joy as watching the frustration that comes in the life of a believer as a result of repeated frustration and stagnation. The human spirit was designed to be motivated on the strength of progress. Everything that is alive grows. Everything that is alive moves. Lack of growth and progress is a symbol of death. Are we together now? So it appears in different forms. A lady will keep herself and serve God. A man will keep himself and serve God. Sweating in the house of God. And get married. And all of a sudden. Hilarious medical reports begin to evolve themselves. Fibroid. They say the man is impotent. Are we together now? And then it continues like that. Um, 
my assignment tonight is to get you very angry with anything that looks like barrenness in your life you've heard the testimonies it should go it can go if you insist hallelujah mm. barrenness it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing to live a barren life look around our society and you see barrenness speaking everywhere a man begins to build a house and for 10 years it has not gotten to linter level until he dies he leaves it there it's called barrenness it's called barrenness let me tell you something when you buy your first car at age 50 it's not a testimony are we together now when certain things do you know certain things in life have a time period when their coming will be relevant to your living there are it's not just that they should arrive they must arrive on time so that they can be used for the purpose for which they came hmm. are we together now barrenness there's some fruitfulness everywhere there are people's lives it's even consoling if one aspect of your life is working and then another aspect is not working at least he will give you the impetus to face it but there are people seated here nothing is working completely when i say nothing your health is not working your life is not working your brain is not working your body is not working your emotions are not working nothing is working it's called barrenness it's an agenda if you see it as an issue you will not address it enough when you see it as an agenda a plot you will destroy it with every sense of seriousness. Don't just look at it as an issue that is just embarrassing me. That's too small a motivation to fight it. Look at it as an agenda that seeks to be transgenerational. And then you attack it whether you have a child or not. This is not for people who do not have children. You know, we have this ugly religious mindset of saying, at least I have uh, my first um sets of children twins i have another twins what am i looking for that's even a sign that your brain is barren you may not be barren in terms of physical barrenness but it's all working well the bible says and abraham was old and well stricken in age he said and the lord had blessed him in all things second kings chapter 5 says naaman there was a man called naaman he said he was the captain of the syrian army and the bible says he was a man who was valiant for wars he was leprous when i was preparing for this meeting i took a clean sheet of paper to write out everything that was working in my life and everything that was not working and i presented it to god i said lord we are flogging it out this night don't sit down fooling yourself just focusing on the things that are working thank god for them but do not say because five things are working let me let the other two you must force those two to work hmm. say amen, amen. Hmm. let me give you a few scriptures specifically for those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb I don't know how you will motivate yourself tonight but believe God believe God believe God Deuteronomy 7 verse 14 please help us media let's be very fast there's a lot to do tonight Deuteronomy 7 verse 14 Deuteronomy 7 verse 14 I want you to read it please if you're a child of God read it loud one to read thou shall be blessed above all people uh-huh there shall not be male or female barren among you or your what the only people obeying this scripture are animals the only sets of people obeying this scripture are animals they don't pray they don't fast they give birth anyhow anywhere under any condition any condition it says thou shalt be blessed above all people there shall not be male or female men can be barren women can be barren pastors can be barren parents can be barren families can be barren territories and nations can be barren hallelujah are we together now 
And then he says, there shall not be male or female barren among you. That means if you are experiencing any form of barrenness, it cannot be God. I'm giving you reason to attack these things as from the devil. Do not create any theology under any circumstance to justify barrenness of any sort. Don't be embarrassed by it, but summon the courage tonight to call it what it is and face it squarely. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, please. Verse 3 to 5, very quickly. It says, Lo, read it, please. Children are what? Um, this scripture is a very powerful scripture. It never said children come from men. The seed that gives them bodies come from men. But children are a heritage from the Lord. Read on please. We're not done media. It says as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man so are the children that are giving birth to early so are the children that are giving birth to early you are it's not just the children of your youth there is something about youthfulness and giving birth even biologically without any sense of insult but even biologically we understand that when a woman has stayed so long and is about to give to, to give birth there there are certain kinds of sicknesses and imperfections and deformities that may likely happen like down syndrome and so on and so forth the bible talks about the children of your youth verse 5 happy is the man whose quiver is what I don't know about you but I don't believe in having only one child because two is at least the number of witness and there are certain things that only happen when two or three ah come on now I'm preaching to somebody go ahead respect your ideology but the more you know God the more you become a believer hallelujah happy he didn't say sad children can make men happy brothers and sisters let me tell you i have met wealthy people who the only thing they pray for is a child are we together they will pay any amount they will go any length they just need a child not prosperity not a job happy is the man that his quiver is full of them he says they shall not be society has an ugly way of stigmatizing people in every area of barrenness but especially on fruitfulness especially in nigeria the average time they give you is two weeks once you are married people are uh, it's ladies that first start they look at the signs they look at your face the men don't know they don't care till they will catch up later after four or five months i mean but the women they're already looking and then after two months, someone will confront you and say jokes. Ah, when is Junior coming? Now, you think it's a joke. After a few months, they won't laugh about it when they are saying it again. We live in a society, especially Africa. After nine months, if you cannot give birth to a child, your persecution starts immediately. Are we together? And then I'm still surprised that with the age of knowledge and intelligence... We still have all kinds of people, you know, driven by culture and all of these cultural ideologies. Oh, I married a witch. That's the reason why I'm not giving birth and all of that and so on and so forth. If the man, your seed is required for the woman and she's a witch, what are you? For it not working. You see that? We victimize women shamefully. And then we think, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is a stupid woman that I got married to. No, no. Listen, listen. 
Barrenness is an entirely spiritual thing. Forget about the medical report you came with. I am telling you the origin of barrenness. The, see, barrenness, fibroid, and all kinds of demonic operations, they are related. It's the same system that brought them. Listen to me. Fibroid is an attempt to mimic a child between you and a spirit. Fibroid is not just an object growing. Is growing at a pace that is not consistent with your normal body growth. Meaning another life is sponsoring it. Are we together now? Yeah. So you have a woman get pregnant. She's rejoicing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The moment the doctor announces. She goes to bed in the night. And all kinds of strangers. Depending on what episode. A man, a woman. All kinds of people come and the next thing the woman has lost the pregnancy. And while people are insulting her because we live in a society that, that who, whose conscience has been so numbed, we can insult people without finding what is going on. The cure for barrenness is not counseling. Counseling does not drive out demons. Fibroid is real. You can feel it. It can destroy you. Impotency is real. Whether you believe it or not. And do you know. This affects Christians more. Because we are guided by certain principles until marriage. So there is no room to ordinarily find out what is wrong with you. You just marry and get the shock immediately. That, that quest for obedience prepared the healthy environment for Satan to manifest it. But the devil is a liar tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I once prayed for a woman who said she would be sitting down. God is my witness. And physically, pastor, physically, physically, feel a man come to her as though sleeping with her. I'm, I don't mean in a, in a vision. Wide awake any time of the day, that stranger just comes. Claiming legal rights and holds over God's people and stopping them for years. Let me tell you another thing with barrenness. It does not live by itself. Any kind of barrenness. One day, my miracle will come. It's not a wise approach. Not with barrenness. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. You've got to get up and say today. Today is the day. One day, is, it, it looks like a consolation, but you never receive results from it. One day, I know I will build that house. One day, I know. Abba, is it not turn by turn? There are all kinds of wise sayings. Life is turn by turn. Are you joking? There are some people who died. Their turn never came. You force your turn. Brothers and sisters, this thing is by force. You force your turn. You force your turn. Time and chance happens to all. It didn't say they receive it. It just says in God's equation, he made provision for everyone to have it. As I'm speaking to you, I'm very angry in my spirit. Because some things must change this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know families who have spent millions, literally, looking for the fruit of the womb. I know families who have been depressed at all kinds of things. Do you know the one that pains me more? When a pastor becomes barren. That, 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 one, that one gets to me. It's, it's personal. You know why? Because Satan is like putting a billboard on the man's life. I am at work. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's very painful. It's very painful. I've had the privilege of meeting men of God in different places. And they are one prayer. They come to me in the secret and they cry. They say, man of God, I lay my hands on others. They come back with twins. They come back with this. But I've not been able to have a child. And we have members whose mouths don't keep quiet. We run our mouths around with different episodes of what we think might be the explanation. Supporting the barrenness. Rather than taking it personal. And go to God and say, no Lord, something must be done. Do you know what Abraham would have gone through? 25 years. 
barrenness. Hallelujah. How about other aspects of barrenness? The inability for you to produce results in ministry. To the point that you are now doubting whether you are called or not. Are we together now? You used to shout before and say, I know God called me. But after two years with seven members alone, you're already keeping quiet now and say the most important thing is I'm obeying. You, you see, let me tell you, lack of result makes you to hide certain convictions. You will be forced to hide them. That's how Satan stops people. He doesn't shut your mouth. He stops the area of results. But we are going to pray. Listen, tonight I don't want you to feel embarrassed about confronting anything that is barrenness in your life. Are we together now? We are a family of faith and we are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open a door that no man can shut. Hallelujah. There are pastors who are supposed to be at a level. They, they are doing everything scripturally. That should bring the kind of results they want. And yet nothing is working. Absolutely nothing is working. No ministry. People come receive miracles and go. All kinds of things happen. One day my result will come. Is a deception from hell. I'm telling you this again. You must insist and say I make that one day today. Psalm 113 verse 9. Psalm 113 verse 9. Please help us media. Psalm 113 verse 9. This is what will be somebody's story after this miracle service. It says he make it. Who makes it? Ah! And we're standing here only because you made he make it so God can make it happen. It is within his power to make it happen. He make it the barren woman to keep house. And then he says to be a joyful mother of what? The only reason why you should stop giving birth is mutual understanding between you and your wife. Not a situation that has pegged you and saying that child will not come. No. A joyful mother. A joyful mother of children. A joyful mother of children. One last scripture. Exodus 23 verse 26. Exodus 23. I'd like you to read it. One to read. There shall nothing cast her young. Nor be buried in thy land. He didn't say there shall no one. He said nothing. Nothing. Do you know your money can be barren? Many other things in your life can be barren. He says there shall nothing cast their young. Nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Brothers and sisters, it's time to get angry. To know that every trace of barrenness, regardless of how it appears, is of the devil and must be dealt with as such. Three keys to fruitfulness very quickly. When our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way and we're standing here only because you made. you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing very quickly to fruitfulness the first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command 
have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion. It's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire. Fruitfulness is a command. Fruitfulness is a command. Genesis 1.28 Fruitfulness is a command. Anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of God. Anything, anything. The moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect, there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience, disobedience. Fruitfulness is a command. Barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command. Number two, the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result. It's not enough to have the understanding that it's a command. There are principles that compel your partnership with the word of God in order to get that result. Principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of God's grace in our lives. Are we together? Praise God. Are we together now? Sorry about that. Obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result. Listen please. Wishing and crying helps you but it does not help your situation. Are we together now? God is moved by your tears, but he only responds to his word. He's moved by your tears. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But for results to happen in your life, you must activate the word. The woman with the issue of blood had been crying, but nothing happened. But she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Obedience to kingdom principles. For instance, when it comes to finances, your tithe, your giving, kingdom investments, and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable keys to wealth and abundance. There is no theology around it. Are we together? There is no magic and mysticism around it. Obedience to kingdom principles. Now, most of us want miracles of fruitfulness. Listen, we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives, but we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment. There are people who are not consistent tithers. They have an idea that tithing is, um, is a system. Men of God just corner the money and they enjoy it. I mean, that, that, that is such a deception. See how cheap you gave yourself to Satan. How much is what you are bringing? For you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith. There are all kinds of theological ideas sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor. Are we together? How about trusting and believing God to make you whole? Do you know there are people who do not believe? Listen, listen. There are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church. Maybe not in Koinonia, but in the body of Christ. When they hear something like fibroid disappear, they just look and say, oh, we agree. They don't lie. Let's clap. You see, we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief. It has become our template. You never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth. It came from nowhere. You believe that one. That it went back to where it came from. You don't believe it. Are we together? Oh, someone's genotype changed. Or a woman gave birth to triplets and twins. Some of you, where is the woman? Let her come. Let's see. I must see with my own eyes. You see, let me tell you something. Do not over-intellectualize spiritual things. They are far beyond the realm of the intellect. If you learn to believe God with childlike faith and say, Lord, I know this is true. When will you believe? 
are we together honestly there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly you have only been aware that it happened but that conviction no I'm a believer. I believe God. I believe God. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Especially for those of us, listen, especially for those of us who, who claim to be a light, we have allowed education to take the place of God. And then we want God to give you a science. On how these things will happen are we together now God you need to show me how this will be this and produce this and then God says me give you that explanation the Bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in her that has a child how a seed a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand explain that mystery says so you do not know the way of God Tonight, I want you to believe. Don't sit down asking, will this genotype really change? Will I really be delivered? Will God bless me just like that? I remember one time, people were joining the queue, I think some months ago, just to see me after service. And then um, a particular, I think it was a lady or so, just met me and she was ranting all her problems, what she felt, you know, she felt, look, I need special time. And I just touched her, I said, it's done. She said, no, no, you don't understand. I'm trying to, I said, it's done. What are all these long stories you are? It's done. I touched you, I said, it's done. Now, I know what her problem will be. Even if his pain is not on her head, you just touch me and say, it's done. That's how it works. It works at the speed of faith. The woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of Jesus. She touched the hem. Frankly, any part she touched would have produced the same result. It was never about what she touched. Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. She shared her testimony here. You've heard the testimony of the miracle that God did. Supernatural miracle. All kinds of devilish things. And they said all kinds of things were, you know, growing and all of that in her stomach. It came out. It passed out like a woman gives birth to a child. That's how it came. Oh, come on. See, this God, eh? Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Would you come and do a miracle? A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies. Very healthy lady, eating well. The moment she's about to marry, they will tell you something is wrong. Ovarian cyst fibroid somewhere or they'll say the womb has disappeared are we together fashions of stories sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors but that's a manipulation somewhere are we together now to an extent some of you ladies now are looking at me you are even afraid you are not even sure you see all kinds of people, even if you are prophesying about finances, they are laying hands on their womb and say, Lord, my own is not money. Just make sure that I give birth. When has a good thing become a thing of fear? Are we together now? And then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency. Where they say a man, no, 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 no. That concept is a mirage plus plus. You better disbelieve it. Gentlemen, listen. Gentlemen, listen to me. Don't ever, don't ever, I say it again, allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that. It is, it is, it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man. Are we together now? Don't think I'm just talking. I know what I'm saying. What you tolerate, you will never change. What you give flimsy excuses for you, it will never leave you. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight I want you to challenge yourself and tell yourself I must have testimonies. Fruitfulness is a command. Number two, obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result. The last point I'll give us and then we'll pray is that in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony. Now you better believe this. In many cases, Obadiah 117, in many cases, warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony. That's not because you are a witch. That's not because you are a wizard. Away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people, it means that they are possessed. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. And the way with that wrong understanding, a believer cannot be possessed, but a believer can be greatly influenced. Your faculties can come under siege. Siege that will look like you are possessed of devils. Make sure that the construction of your belief is based on the word of God so that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities. Look at me. There are many of us here seated looking at me. There are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies. Every time things are not going well in your life and you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles, then I want you to know that you are not alone in that system. There is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add. If you keep quiet, that's how your life will go. Warfare, deliverance, contending with the powers that be. Satan will not let you go just because God said to. It takes force. A popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place. Psalm 66 verse 3. How terrible art thou in your ways. He said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Not through the greatness of your discussion. It takes power. Don't see, listen, you are, you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft. I know you are in Christ, but listen, Satan does not care. All that grammar is none of his business. It, you have to prove you are in Christ by taking advantage of the power that came through Christ to put him where he belongs. He says, Satan, he said, God had put all things under his feet. Speaking of man, he said, but as it is now, we do not yet see all things under his feet. Faith is not foolishness. You must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm born again of this and that and that. But you are seeing all of you, you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony it was god's servant bishop oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started great ministry now touching people across africa and the world but then when they started people would not just come pastor for whatever reason, a very anointed man, signs and wonders, epochal revelations, but people would not come. And one time they were praying, engaging in warfare, intense warfare in the place of prayer. And the Holy Spirit asked him to come out. And he came out. And then after he had moved a distance, the Holy Spirit told him, turn and face, you know, look at the building and all of that. And then he saw a thick layer covering it. And this was what the Lord told him. He said, this is... The stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry. Everything you do, they see it in a bad light. And he commanded it to go. And it left. And all of a sudden, there was, there was explosion. Kenneth E. Hagin, teaching on his encounter with Jesus. His book about his encounter with Jesus. He gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and Jesus. He said at a point when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him, Jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions. All of a sudden, a devil like an imp, a short devil, just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down, you know, 
distracting Kenneth Hagin. Kenneth Hagin said he thought Jesus Christ being there would stop that spirit from coming. Yet the spirit was there jumping up and down and Jesus kept talking. He seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing. But Kenneth Hagin was affected and Jesus kept speaking. Kenneth Hagin said it worried him for a long time until he got angry in his spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave him a strategy and he commanded that spirit. He said, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. And he felt and, and left. And this was what Jesus told him, according to Kenneth Hagin. He said, if you did not do anything about it, I would not have done anything. All that it is to be done, I have done. How can Shiria is nonsense. The day you get up, you the best way to predict your future is to create it. Create it. Create it. Don't sit down waiting for it to come. Create it. Listen, I don't believe in circumstances. I create any circumstance I want. I create it. The Bible tells us that the word is framed. 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 Your world, your environment, your reality is framed by the word of God. Obadiah 1.17 it says and upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of god's people and then he says that there shall be deliverance deliverance is not falling down necessarily it's not just manifesting and coughing out things no the context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound are we together there are things that have held our lives brothers and sisters and it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We are going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know the reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you, if you let those spirits, they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But they are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child? You are the idiot like him? You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble you were in the loins of eternity and now you came and participated tonight i want you to believe god i want you to believe god brothers and sisters there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle i believe in breakthrough breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed where limits are taken kabbalataya limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken i don't know what has held you down you must break this limit don't sit carelessly looking some of you have some results we all have different results but is that the best god can fast track your life that between now and december 31st he will put a new song in your mouth a song of praise in your heart he said many will see and fear and put their trust in him Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions, shut the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. 
Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace. Make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. Shabarato Kasubaya. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. Zarato Kaparata Katatata. Leketekete. How forcible are right words. Sekatalatos. Empre toketele kata. Siketereto supatalabaya. De katash kabarita da badabadabana. Secreto sibada da rabalabala. Brante katala koto supata. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Shabala rabala rabala. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to be to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. Shake a tire, It's the anointing that comes with the office. I feel it on me right now. Zeketo sheta reto kasoda preta shia daba lembre to sata brashi kete brata kata barata badaba lebra to shia. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself, check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast, the left side of your breast. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope, I've taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding that compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. 
based on an understanding the end product of believing is conviction when you act it the name given to that action is faith listen you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps so if you are here and you cannot stand be ready to stand don't just sit down saying well let's see what will happen you will go back home on that wheelchair you are deaf you are blind whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are anchoring your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating god is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen jesus said and i've corrected it here i've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed i've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain he was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things are we together tonight i want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you i want you to refuse listen listen there is grace for increase i feel it in this place i, I just want you to believe me you know sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some we live in an environment of such unbelief i know the grace for increase listen increase is an unction honor is a mantle it can come upon a man you can carry it bodily don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking can i get the child no what you should be asking is can i get the twins or triplets not can i get the child are we together you are here tonight because you are trusting god to do something in your life face the business that brought you and be serious don't sit down laughing at others criticizing others others will be taking radical steps of faith don't sit down there being cynical laughing at them no connect and open up your spirit man of god open up for your ministry there can be more there can be more there can be more the pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going there is a system that builds you out even favor let me tell you this favor that we think is very free there are laws there is an unction that brings favor it is a manifestation of favor that is effortless but there is a system an exact system a science to its coming into your life hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over forty thousand or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can god change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over? Listen. There are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom. I'm rounding up now. There are three platforms for reception. I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. 
The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen, men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God. Answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith. Their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God. When, when Saul came where Samuel was, just that atmosphere implicated him. He prophesied. All kinds of things happened to him. You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then Abraham slept with Hagar. And then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham. As far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar. But he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see, like cobwebs, is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we begin to minister i want you to lift your voice and tell god everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say god knows open your mouth lord step into my finances lord step into my business lord step into my family faithful god hallelujah Seke para 
Lord, take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening. Take away the barrier, oh God, stopping my influence. Enlarge my coast. prayers Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. You reign, you reign, hello, him, you reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me. And he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies. And it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 
21 people an impartation supernatural strategies Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen. The Lord is speaking to me. And this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit and I'm seeing a map. Get ready, please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria and I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God, Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna state. Shabarapakata. Embreketeta. Kaduna State, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shaka Toda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time, Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. 
he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family hallelujah now lift your hands i want to pray i tell you i feel fire in this place it's time to command deliverance it's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives forces of darkness the lord is bringing deliverance to your family your family the lord is bringing deliverance i'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family hallelujah listen listen as i begin to pray for you all those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now i'm going to command those devils they must go they are not only going to live your life they must leave your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart my soul i give to you i bow to you my savior and king lift your hands thank you jesus father thank you for your anointing to deliver to set free there are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people and in the name of the lord jesus christ they must go i want you to bring them out now they must go they must go now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus you'll be surprised to see what happens kai 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 i see spirits of delay 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 spirits that have held men down all kinds of spirits father in the name of jesus at the count of three lord as your people shout may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of jesus one two three shout jesus now i command those demons go now go now go now lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now i command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside i command you inside and outside bring them out i command you by the power of the holy ghost lift your voice i command you you must go now now by the anointing of the spirit release their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while you're praying i'm seeing gates and i'm seeing chains on them and the lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father i decree and declare in the name of jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in jesus name i command those gates be open be open be open be open be open by the anointing of the holy ghost chains chains be broken ushers please chains be broken in the name of jesus chains be broken be broken release their destinies outside the holy ghost is touching people outside i see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the holy ghost every enchantment 
every enchantment every witchcraft against the lives of people against destinies you must go now mr man lift your hands this man lift your hands the lord is saying i should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night right now receive that anointing receive that anointing right now in the name of the lord jesus christ bring them out i'm hearing the name charity charity we have to be very fast because i want to focus on barren people right now charity 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 i'm hearing the name charity charity the lord wants to bring breakthrough for charity the second overflow there are two people god is touching there the second overflow i see the anointing coming on two people the overflow the roadside in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen something is going to happen here now ushers i want you to be sensitive i'm going to pray for certain people you will have to help them the grace for speed listen is going to come on some people physically they will find themselves trying to run help them so that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves it's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody lord in the name of jesus guys be sensitive please in the name help them please it's already happening that's the instruction god is giving me an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, sir. i'm looking at you and i'm seeing abuja huh yes sir abuja yes what is abuja i have a fiance you have somebody there yes sir. that's the person to marry you okay, did you sir. tell me no sir did you tell me no. that's what i'm telling you i'm looking at you i said god will settle you amen. maritally amen. Huh? and then god will give you a job amen. supernatural job amen. because it's your desire amen. god will give you a job amen. the lord is saying i should prophesy to you i'm opening a new chapter over your life the past uh -uh. your future has to change it, the, what the past is is not a good testimony and the lord is saying i'm giving you a new chapter a new chapter come my dear in the name of jesus god is giving you a job may he connect you maritally huh is your name charity is your name charity in the name of jesus christ i pray for you delay ends now delay ends now i pray for your auntie let there be a miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i minister to one more case before i pray i want to pray specifically for barren people i'm going to pray that before we we'll do a lot of other things before we call the sick out thank god there are many hands today 
And so we're able to do a very quick walk. Ladies, when I count three, just shout, I receive. Don't worry. Follow me and do my stupid thing. Are you ready now? One, two, three. There is an opening. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Many people are entering it. I see it. It's a door of breakthrough. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. There is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom. Shalom. Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. You're mighty in this place. You welcome in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus, it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace strange establishment doors opening doors opening in their own accord help them doors opening i put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment in the name of jesus help them please so they don't enjoy themselves my god be established be established be established be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. 
by the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we give you praise that's a shout there that's a shout by the spirit there is an anointing to pray for the barren come please all those whether man woman if you are married look don't come out here if you are not married why are they here why are they all here you must be married except if you are standing in for someone don't stand here doubting there is an anointing i see a river some of you as you are standing right now the power of god will come on you just before i even start praying yeah. look at this will you open up the gate open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? for you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low sperm count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now in the name of jesus please shift very quickly as i lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my god i tell you i see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now carry it right now carry it right now miracle 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 there is an unusual grace here there is an unusual grace unusual grace unusual grace unusual grace as I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabala da bala da ba. Reke teke te. Embro toko toba da bala da ba. Shabara da bala da ba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace, receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, 
fertility be restored, receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Bring it. In the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, return with your miracle child. Now. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch miracles, miracles. is anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka baradoka toka I want a woman to come up. Yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself. For someone. 
la kurata subrege di balala ba emre koto shikala bariada subrati shikaria rendo salebrati shikaria di balala ba ambroto subroto shobre dege di balala ba ah hallelujah kai i'm seeing something that is not nice I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living a real object please who is that i have to pray for you like i said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in jesus name you okay come in jesus name it is done the lord sets you free by the power of the holy spirit i need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one i'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one god bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say this is bad it's like a doctor madam Kai. and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement i'm praying for you now may that devil live your life forever in the name of jesus the spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of jesus i use her as a point of contact this is a nice woman she didn't bargain for this and she loves god are you seeing that now who knows probably you were trained by white men or she speaks very intelligently but everything grounded hold my hand man to a point that that do you know what it means another object did you plant an object in your body comes out through you at will goes back at will for those of you who think witchcraft is not real you are joking you are watching one right now not pile oh i'm not talking of pile Hold my hands, my hands. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life i restore you even physiologically in the name of jesus christ this old face is not your own you are not that old i change it in the name of jesus christ help her give jesus praise father thank you supernatural miracle supernatural miracle supernatural miracle supernatural miracle in the name of jesus christ hold my hands it's over 
over in the name of Jesus over in the name of Jesus is over in the name of Jesus there's one mama here the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people there's one mama here I'm seeing in a vision the power of God will land on you 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 may not even be expecting it not everybody this, this is an, like an elderly woman but I'm seeing an anointing right now wherever you are father something will land it's like fire it will land on one mama now supernatural grace you will start laying hands on the sick oh that's the woman there help her help her please bring her here supernatural anointing supernatural anointing for the for barrenness look at this look at this this is an elderly woman for god's sake Shera taba roto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso kedia, ekara takata la totia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace, and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? She is here, but I can't locate her. Now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity. I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. 
let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen now please we are going to be very fast you are here for yourself you are not married you are standing for something in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural miracle now we are going to be very fast you can see it's past 9 but there are so many things we need to do we are going to do two things at the same time all those who are here trusting God for any miracle any miracle aside from barrenness except if you have another thing I don't care what it is please you are going to come there are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly it's a miracle service now look at this I want you to organize yourself uh, those outside hold on please hold on overflow two. just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow to the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i'll have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there have been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just I don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join Ejimi. promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't relay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we are going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father was standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request 
pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it fast jesus will give you praise I have no other God but you. Now, by the I have no other God but you. Right now, and you have done what no man has done. Please, as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself.
you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests make sure you're submitting your prayer requests and then when they pray for you you don't have to go back to another line once they pray for you i'd like you to believe you will see god is doing miracles to you as a means to an end. 
you will never be prosperous that way. Hallelujah. Listen, I speak especially towards the young people. Don't allow what is happening in society to fool you. You are not the first to live your life. You are not the first to be blessed or to be prosperous or to pursue success. There is no true success outside of Christ. Not just going to church and trying to be nice. Seriousness. Sisters have challenged you. Don't marry anybody that is not serious with God. With traceable transformation. No matter what he tells you. He can have all the jeeps, all the whatever it is. But any man that has passion for the things of the Lord. You know, our society has a, a very insulting way of trivializing godliness. Right? No matter what else you have. If you don't have God, it's a waste. But our society has taken it the other way around. If you have God, no matter what else you don't have, they think you are not successful. This is how much he means to us. Why should I keep what people say? For they don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you mean to me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Listen, get to a point in your life where your entire desire is to see him lifted. If God makes you a millionaire businessman, you are a minister in business, not a Sunday Christian doing every other thing. Where when God empowers you, it is for his kingdom. Are we together? If God gives you intellectual prowess, it's for his kingdom. He gives you beauty for his kingdom. Thank you, sir. He gives you money, it's for his kingdom. He gives you influence, it's for his kingdom. Listen, if God knows you will not withhold his glory, he will not withhold his hand from you too. I am amazed. I am amazed to see the little that God has been able to do through my life. You know, when I see it, people send me all kinds of texts. Man of God, apostle of our generation. And I just look at the text and laugh. For you are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, to the good times and bad, you are I'm not interested in anything in this life that I cannot find how it will glorify God. If you cannot show me how it will glorify God, I'm not interested. I don't care what it is. You must get to that point where your life, you donate your life to be a promoter of his interest. Anywhere you get to, you find out, Lord, how are you going to be lifted here? He said, if I... If your life is committed to lifting me, there is nothing I will not give you. If your life is committed to lifting me, I will take you beyond every territorial background. Ah! It was, it was Nathaniel that said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Try donating your life to God and see the wonder he will make out of your life. My life is a wonder. My mom called, okay, well, she didn't call, but she sent me a text. Oh, by the way, my mom said she's praying for everyone and that your prayers will be answered throughout this fasting period. My mom is a very anointed woman. Anointed indeed. She's been following in the fasting. 
praying also she was listening to the message I think it was yesterday's message and she was just weeping and I told her you've not seen anything yet if you think you were a failure in life you succeeded in giving birth to me and that's enough reason to be a success forever Koinonia come to a point tonight where Jesus becomes the focal point the pivot of your life listen there is no such thing as church life and then real life you know people do that this is church they say look look when in Rome behave like the Romans do it's not in your Bible you have to be careful I'm a child of God anywhere right so you pick up your phone and you put a a gospel song and when it is ringing in a business meeting you quickly off it so that it doesn't embarrass you because you want to be neutral Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men please hear me koinonia if you are ashamed of me before men he said I'll be ashamed of you before my father my appetite and my addiction for God I don't know what he did to me I've been captured by a love I can't explain now you have me and I'm forever changed I've abandoned everything I've ever known now I surrender this life is not my own I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you You must get to that point That's the first thing I want you to learn come to a point where you are not just born again but you are addicted so you see a pretty lady like this and it's easy to believe that because she's fine my dear if your beauty if god cannot see how your beauty directly glorifies him is nonsense is useless as far as the agenda of god is concerned are we together everything not just your education everything that constitutes an advantage in your life must have a direct bearing. If you do this, I show you the secret of unbeatable greatness. God will bring you out of, bless you my dear, every storm and put you in a position of notoriety because he knows that your being there is for his namesake. Is God blessing us tonight? One of the things we are going to be crying as we round up this period, awesome period of fasting and prayer. I was talking to the Lord yesterday. I said, Lord, look at what you have done with your child. So many people say all kinds of things. During my birthday, I was so honored last year. We had delegates from over 16 nations calling in to say, look, this is what your teachings are doing, changing people. That's what God can do when you believe him when you really love god you will not have time for pride and arrogance it's not the issue of i want to be i'm stopping it there is a revelation that threatens you to humility at all times all times it's a revelation that's why i run away from all these kinds of things because i've seen the deceitfulness of man he will celebrate you and stab you when you fall people can clap you into death so every time they clap God says remember you are an usher remember our prayer and fasting and so you lead them and say there is one who is mightier than I and I'm not embarrassed I'm not embarrassed to know that I am not here for myself listen this is what Jesus said I can of my own do nothing the word of God speaking so helpless I can of my own do nothing brothers and sisters everything you see behind this small life that you see is a product of God's grace is the reward of addiction to the kingdom it's not so much my wisdom the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom right let the strong man not glory in his strength they say but let him that glory glory in this many years ago the Lord told me 
my only promise to you is my presence God never promised me a car he never promised me fame he never promised me crowd all he promised me was his presence and he has kept that promise if nothing else works in my life I cannot blame God the promise he made was his presence and Moses said if your presence go not with us he said we will not depart from here for how shall they know that we are a separate people the presence of God is the mystery behind the magnificent things God is doing in and through this ministry and tonight I'll share two more things and then we are going to pray and say Lord I not only give you my heart I give you my life there is a big difference between giving God your heart and giving God your life. We used to sing a song, remember, my lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. Don't play it. He says, when, Abi, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me. Now, that song is not a good bargain for many people because they say, Lord, I gave you my lifetime and I saw the way you shredded me into pieces. We have this idea that when we walk to, with God, we will be cheated. Godliness is profitable. Having the reward here in this life and in the life to come. Number two, the second thing that I want to challenge us is to have a passion for understanding. Please say after me, understanding. Those outside, are you with us? Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Understanding. The Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding tells you the dynamics on how a thing works. Listen. A Jimmy's wife made this beautiful cake. I know the ingredients to make a cake, but I don't understand how it works. At least I know that you need flour, you need egg, you need uh, uh, all the other things are we together but she understands how to work if you want to make fried rice I may know how to make fried rice but I'm not sure I understand it I know in that fried rice there should be rice there should be liver my friend is helping me there should be liver. <laughs> Carrots. Now listen. But do I know how much of liver? No. Do I know when to put the liver? No. If you give me all those ingredients, let me tell you what I'll do. I will mix everything at once and close it. And the next time I open that pot, I'm lifting it. I don't cook. I don't cook. It's not my ministry. That's the reason why I'm determined to be successful because I know that when I'm successful that lapse will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ <laughs> alright but let, let's get back to our point understanding listen we know many things but we do not know how to combine them to be successful you know there is a place of destiny help us you know there is a place of fasting and prayer are we together you know there is a place of warfare you know there is a place of giving and sacrifice but do you know how to combine them to produce an unbeatable life we need to pray for understanding it's not everything that is just the blood of Jesus it's not everything that is just prayer for instance finances is not just the issue of prayer prayer gives you wisdom finances is a covenant it's an understanding right he said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power, the anointing, the unction to prosper. There is such a thing. The Bible says, and I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. You know that what it takes to do ministry, there is a place for leadership and organization. There is a place for the anointing, right? There is a place for people's skills. There is a place for endurance and persistence. There is a place for... for um, competence in the world but do you know how to combine them together many of us right now our problem is not ignorance our problem is understanding of the operation of the systems of the kingdom how to make things work is really revelation not that you are aware 
Knowing what God has said is not revelation. Knowing how to make it produce results in your life. Consistent results is understanding. Tell your neighbor, get understanding. This is what we have been doing. We've been praying and fasting and we have been taking a thought, a dimension of the keys of the kingdom. Just approaching it, the place of power, the place of destiny help us, the place of favor. You must passionately pray and ask the Lord to give it to you as a personal revelation. Lord, show me if you were to draw a pie chart for me, how much percentage of my life should be dedicated in building relationships? How many should be dedicated in the place of knowledge? How much should be dedicated in warfare? There are people who all they do in their life is to fight warfare. They fight warfare until they are frustrated. They hold night vigils every day. You see, they have stretched the truth beyond its limit of operation. The truths in the kingdom are dimensional. It only profits you when you apply the kingdom uh, within the confines of its relevance. That it is truth does not mean it's applicable anyhow. You must define the boundaries to which its application becomes relevant. Are we together? There is a place tithing and giving holds in kingdom wealth. But it's not just tithing and giving alone. Are we together now? Yeah. If all you do is tithe and give, favor will come. But you do not have wisdom. A house is not built by favor. Through wisdom, a house is built. And by understanding it is established. It said through knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasure. So we need to know how to combine the correct ingredients and you will make for an unbeatable life number three maybe i'll just say that and then i'll stop there number three i have emphasized it again and again the bible says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he listen there is the place of your mentality your mindset your paradigm Mindsets are conditionings. Mindsets are perspectives. Mindsets are opinions. Mindsets are constructions, planes, perspectives of judgment. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, there was an understanding, there was a, a mental state that Jesus was in. That's why he succeeded. And the Bible says, permit it to be in you in the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When God called Abraham, he was a man who was in a place called Ai of the Chaldeans. He was an idol worshiper. And based on his mindset and understanding, there were certain things that were impossible. And God needed to stretch his mind. Look at me, please. You can get my message pulling down strongholds. I have seen as a leader... As a man of God, how many great people potentially have been limited because they cannot tear that mental barrier to give them space to be used by God. Scattered among us here are all kinds of people. Hallelujah. Please, I need two people here. Where is promise? Where is Charles? Charles protocol. Can you come? Please, quickly. Hallelujah. I want to use them as an example. Wherever he is, if he's within reach, let him come. I want to use him as an example. If your mindset does not change, your life cannot move forward. Please, this is not some psychology, sociological reality. Unfortunately, we come from backgrounds where there are conditionings over our minds. There are people, for instance, who have been taught, listen, there are people who have been taught that you will never succeed. You will never amount to anything. You came from a background where everybody was a failure. And that conditioning has been there. I am a failure. I don't expect to succeed. I don't expect things to work for me. Do you know the Bible says in Psalms, I think 78, 41 or so, it says they limited him in the wilderness. Hallelujah. 
I want to use these two gentlemen. Please don't be offended. I've used them again and again because they are great people. Where is Francis? Can you join him, please? Francis, your friend. Where is he? Come, 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 quickly. Appreciate him. Do you mind if I share your testimony again? <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spoke to you about this guy. He came to Zaria with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks and earrings. That's how he came into the city. Can you imagine? This is the assistant head of prayer department. <laughs> the prayer department. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Believe me, he was not a bad boy. He was a victim of an understanding. Because he probably grew up in an environment and where he was schooling before, the occult groups taught that if you were a capon, right, then they associated violence and rebellion with greatness. Listen, life is always proposing an ideology to you about a true definition of success and you must return to the word of God and re-edit your template your value system look at his life right now a testament of a transformed mind let me tell you a very funny story thank you sir this gentleman you mind if I share your testimony now let me tell you how he came to this ministry he saw a lady that he liked he was an occultist Came all the way from another state. Listen. Oh, he's very born again, I can tell you. Born again and successful. And wealthy as a matter of fact. Hallelujah. He saw a lady. One of my ladies. And saw her and said, Ah! You know, all these occultic things and so on and so forth. And as he followed her, she gladly led him. Just keep coming. He was like a sheep to the slaughter. Not knowing what was going to happen to him. Listen. That's beauty used for the kingdom. I'm not saying you go to a beer parlor and tell somebody, follow me. God did not send you there. Let me balance it up front. Because I can't assume, in our generation today, you must explain everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened. It was you that brought him, right? Now, this guy came that night. He got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, transformed completely. That night, his friends gave him seven days to return back to his lifestyle. Seven days have become over six or seven years or thereabout. Never to return again. He was so impacted, he went and dragged this one and said, just come. Are we together now? I'm not sure this guy had an idea what was going to happen to him. And he dragged him and brought him. Let me tell you what happens in this place. You are first saved and the next mission is your mental transformation. Until your ideology is changed, you are not really born again. Believe me when I tell you this. You see what God has made. They are serving in the body, doing great things for the kingdom. These are the guys responsible for your bosses. They have a direct... Did you know he could not speak Hausa? But he speaks Hausa right now because he had to learn it so that he will be effective. As the, as the boss coordinator. Can you imagine that? That's passion for the kingdom. And I pray, guys, may God bless you. I love you with all my heart. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who is your life changing? From the time they came into your life, have their understandings changed? Now, you see, we, we, that you are well-meaning does not mean you are transformed separate being nice societally i don't steal i don't kill i don't fornicate it's not the same as transformation transformation is the process that makes you like christ and it is not a gift it's a reward you will labor to get into that state transformation requires admitting that something about your thinking is destroying your life there are people who are born again but they are greedy there are people who are born again but they are angry I counsel a lot of people and sometimes you see couples i remember one couple very interesting uh, i mean and they had been married for a while not just two years five years and they fought they fought police had to come and stop them so two of them said they were coming to report themselves and they booked for counseling husband and wife two of them sat down madam what's the problem this man does not respect me and she was just landing it and the man kept quiet when i finished it man of god you are seeing what made me beat this woman I mean, 
and the truth is both of them love themselves but everybody was coming with the idea of his territory somebody told that guy when you beat your wife she will respect you are you getting that information he stored it in his pocket somebody told the lady if you are weak to a man he would disrespect you if he punches you you roll your hand and punch him back so listen all of them are executing their ideologies there are pastors who believe their thinking is that if you want to be rich be a pastor because you will receive prophets offering etc you see that so their ideology led them to fast for 40 days they created names they created protocol are we together now very important listen let this mind that i have labored and i still do with all my heart i don't trust myself outside of the word of god i don't even know what i can become i started a project years ago not a project to become a preacher because when i contrasted the word of god to my mindset i was i was messed up in almost everything my understanding of leadership my understanding of ministry my understanding of almost everything the pastors that trained me did not teach me prosperity was a blessing from god they sang songs like take the world and give me jesus no no i won't sing that song at all i my heart is to god but i realize that prosperity is an important tool in kingdom building and i will never mislead you i'm not apologetic about it poverty and prosperity which one is better don't let a poor man who has never been blessed carry his stumbling block and come to you and tell you see how simple my life is you are if you are healed you are healed for yourself if you are saved you are saved for yourself only prosperity is shareable that's why Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. The gospel is free, but the means to carry it to the lost is not free. Are we together now? Yeah. Your mindset, something about your village, something about the thinking, your upbringing. There are ladies here, for instance, our mothers, though well-meaning and sincere, have taught us that when you want to get money from a man, do A, B, C. Men are very stupid people. This is how to collect money from them. You are born again. You pray in tongues. But that mindset is still in you. Are we together? There are people who still do what I call traditional Christianity. They love God. But when the going gets tough, they call you and say, come home. And you know what that means. Come home means revisit your roots. And you go back and they give you your husband in a bottle. They carve clear and put it inside and say, for as long as you are holding this bottle, this is your husband. Do with him as you please. I have counseled people who brought charms. I mean, they removed it and said, man of God, I won't lie to you. This is it. I said, what is this for? Say for money. And I said, boy, you don't look rich. Meaning it's not working. <laughs> oh, or this one is for, um, I, I remember counseling some ladies. Now, this is not to condemn you. True story. They may even be here. Don't feel offended. Some ladies who said they, they went, was it Zaria City to collect something? True story. Something like a powder or something. You, you rub it. I don't know if it's the, you rub it or bath with it. And any man that sees you, no matter what is, except he's really born again, indeed, with a track record in the spirit, otherwise he will follow you like a sheep. And I looked at them. I said, you mean this is what you are doing to yourself? Something in your mind is limiting your destiny right now hallelujah i began a project to change my mind there were some things i never saw growing up i knew that if i needed to be a global leader there was a thinking africa teaches us to be mediocre and failures our mentality in africa is comparing with our, ourselves with ourselves they say i'm a family of seven people and right now, I'm the first person to buy a Pujo. And we keep making noise over it. Whereas God is saying, there are great things I want to do with you. Please, that mindset must die tonight. There are even territories associated with certain levels of mediocrity. Have you heard people say that? Men from this place, they are irresponsible. Women from this place, they are, uh, uh, what, they are, they are immoral. You can change that in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that the people from, from my village, the core people in the village, I grew up knowing that they used to drink. 
drink seriously. Why? I don't know. But I reject that testimony. Count me out. I'm not part of it. Are we together now? Don't say because I grew up seeing it happen. You grew up seeing people oppress people to be blessed. But you're going to change and say, no, my mind has changed. My mind has changed based on the power of the word of God. I found out that Jesus was not the Jesus that was taught in the Bible. The Jesus pastors preach as a wicked, cruel God out to kill and destroy people. But my Bible says it is the thief that comes to steal and kill and to destroy. I never give up on people. No matter what has happened because the Bible says there is hope for a tree. He said at the scent of water, never give up on people. We are going to pray. But I'm challenging us, especially with the young people. There is a mindset we must change. And the Bible says, by the truth. By the truth. Something about your conditioning will make you fail in life if you don't change it. Something about your understanding may make you a bad father, a bad mother. That you are well-meaning is not enough. You must have the mind of Christ. Please lay your hands on your head. And say, in spite of the mindset of my culture, in spite of my background, in spite of the limitations of Nigeria and my territory, I change my mindset. I declare that I come from a kingdom that is foreign to this earth. And I refuse to be limited in the name of Jesus years ago when God was showing me the visions of the things that are happening today I saw these things and they were great and brothers and sisters half of this have not even come to pass what you see now is child's play it's just one step out of the cave hallelujah and God showed me these things but he was waiting for me to agree with him please come here Jimmy listen this is God saying Ejimi, see how far he said as far as your eyes can see but Ejimi is standing oh i come from a background i come from ijebode there is a limitation there are all kinds of things and god is saying i can do so much with you i can smash that barrier you say lord i went to school at 25 when my colleagues are doing masters that's when i'm passing jam and god is saying no Abraham started his ministry almost 75 years old. Are we together? Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mentality. Change your understanding. I made up my mind. Listen. I made up my mind that there are things Africa will never limit in my life. There are things in my mind and beyond the spheres of this place. It's not pride. It's the truth. I didn't get it just by prayer he said i daniel understood by books there is a labor of knowledge i've studied the largest churches in every continent studied them carefully forbes list of billionaires i've studied all of them one by one it's not just prayer please i'm telling you you must agree that something you know is limiting you when it was time to set up covenant university bishop oyeniko sent delegates to comprehensively study cambridge yale harvard right and, and which oxford i think these four or five top universities and then he now added a kingdom dimension to their limitation and said this becomes a structure of our, our university koinonia is patterned after an understanding there is somewhere we are going we have seen that it's possible to combine the anointing with excellence and we are striving to increase that you you should not choose one and leave the other god wants to do great things with you and today he's asking you do you believe i used to say it when we used to meet um on the floor that time we did not even have mat on the floor that we are all going to be great in this life and the beautiful part is that we all know ourselves. 
people of God, there is more that God wants to do. Say there is more that God can do with my life. I refuse to be a local champion. Say it, I refuse to be a local champion. Ejimi's wife had been making cakes long before she got married. She's been making cakes, but she made up her mind that she wanted to be world class. And I got to find out that all her time in Lagos, she had dedicated it. This is an economist. But because this was the area of her passion, she started taking certifications, UK-based certifications, and all kinds of certifications to be extraordinary. The fruit of it is what we are seeing today. Who is ready to pay you for your transformation? Have you been so developed that you become priceless? This can't be it. God is so much bigger than this. Prophesy to yourself, this can't be it. This can't be it. He is so much bigger than this. So he's calling you deeper. That's what he's saying. Deeper. Calling you deeper, deeper, it's calling you deeper. You know why we are not celebrating Koinonia now? My concept of birthdays is not that you were born, is that you are living out the purpose for being born. I am personally convinced that nobody has a right to celebrate birthday until you know why you are on earth and your life is experientially blessing people. A day will come we'll make noise about Koinonia when we build the schools. Remember I told you about our schools. My goodness, bring your children to our schools. Yes, we are adding three extra courses. Spiritual growth, a course called Koinonia and financial intelligence. Every student, they will learn it from primary school. Hallelujah. Yes. Part of spiritual growth will introduce a program called honesty, morality, and conscience. We have a society that numbs conscience. You kill somebody and say it does not matter. The end justifies the means. No, sir. A Christian, the process to the result is as important as the result. When we launch the TV stations and we are doing great things, we can turn and then pat our back. Now we we'll lie to ourselves because compared to where God is taking us, it's a step out of the cave. People are already clapping. And I told God, block my ears in Jesus' name. Block my ears. You need to learn to challenge yourself. Raise standards. Don't say I'm better than somebody. No, that's a foolish way of progress. The Bible says, and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. We used to sing a song when we were preparing for our crusade. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Listen, if you wanted me to cry, raise that song. That was the song that brought tears from my eyes. Because every time they raised the song, I saw nations. The Bible didn't say you are a village. It said you are a city. You may start from where you are, but don't die where you are. You started from Zaria. Oh, my father is a carpenter. My mother was frying a car. So what? The Bible says, ask for the nations and I will give you. I'm speaking to people here. We are going to pray. Ask and I'll give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands we see. Your eye, as it rises. One more time. Ask and now give the nations to you. Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. You must challenge yourself to be exceptional. Listen, listen. Sandra just came in this evening. I was very touched when she came in. Something very remarkable happened. 
this lady you are seeing within three months has done three jobs she works directly with the house of assembly it's not about lobbying it's the power of competence and the keys of the kingdom it was the official card that brought her to zaria but people say there is no job it depends on what your understanding is brothers and sisters please hear me don't let this country cheat you people are shouting the dollar the pound even those who have never seen it are already victims of it hallelujah it was a humorous story please permit me to share it. one of her former bosses where she was working started doing some funny things like wanting to sleep with her or something and, and you know all you know all these men that behave as if their head are not correct may god punish anyone that wants to destroy the destiny of anybody in the name of jesus christ you are entitled to one wife and god designed it to be enough anything more than that you need deliverance say amen, amen. if there's anybody our fathers, mothers who are planning another marriage in the name that is above all names, we cancel it right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. I just felt like pressing that one in so that we don't let it just pass like that. And listen, the moment, thank you. Thank you very much. She has an understanding that you cannot be disadvantaged, it's a mentality. As that one was trying to play all of that nonsense, another one came, born again, honorable member. And he looked at her in 24 hours. She got a new job, upgraded with salary and everything. Brothers and sisters, listen, this thing will work for you if you know how to work it. If, if you think what is happening, people are just talking. No, sir. I think it was Pastor Alpha when you started your PhD. They get, I mean, it was, it was challenging over scholarship and this. But you can see him coming here. He's doing his PhD. And he's on, I think you're on scholarship. He's on scholarship from University of Joss. And he's just enjoying life. See, I like you to say, it must happen differently with me. <laughs> Refuse that thing of, of, of the way it's happening to everybody. No, there is an anointing upon you. Remember, there is an anointing upon you. Please, we are going to rise up and we'll pray. We are rounding this up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. Status is changing. It's no more decline. No more decline. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better days. Sorry, the Lord is hearing you. My status is changing. It's no more decline. I'm on my way to that day. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. On my way. points i like us to pray please let's have the communion we have to be very fast because i want to speak there are destinies that must open up today hallelujah prayer point number one lord a fresh passion for you above beyond money faith ministry business going on here lift your voice and pray lord a fresh passion a fresh passion Shake it back at Baba Baba Baba. Coin on your brain. Shake it back at the better rocks. A fresh passion. You, O oh Lord, at my desire. I desire you more than my necessary food. Oh, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5. Hallelujah. Revelations 5. Please, I'd like us to be sensitive. 
The communion is a mystery. Jesus said, except ye eat of my body and drink of my blood. He said, you cannot have my life. The communion is a mystery. We're going to do, we'll be very, very fast. As soon as we do this, our prayer request as instructed by God. Now, we'll collect it in twofold, but that's, maybe when we are praying, we'll be doing that so that we can have it. Ushers, please make sure you get ready. The ones that represent your challenges, according to Exodus 14, 14, I'd like you to pass it first because we are going to burn it right now. That's the instruction that the Lord gave. Please. And then the ones that represent your testimonies. When you give that one, I'll ask you to forward that one and we'll pray on it here just like we do the miracle service. Please, ushers, quickly. Quickly, you have to be very fast. Our time is gone. While you're holding it, I'd like you to begin to pray and say the blood of Jesus is ending this captivity in my life forever. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. The Bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit for they are spiritually discerned. The Lord gave us an instruction. Please just pass it round. The one that represents challenges, pass it to the last person so that the ushers will receive it. Just the challenges, just the challenges. There are two requests. Your expectations, your challenges, pass the challenges very quickly. Hallelujah. Revelations 5 verse 12. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb. Not worthy is the king. Not worthy is Jesus. There is a dimension he used to purchase these things for us. And is that dimension as a lamb. The lamb that was what? Slain. It was on account of his being slain. On account of his blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive. He has received for us. Power. Riches. Wisdom. Strength. Honor. Glory. And blessing. Notice it did not say blessings. It says blessing. Now look up please. I want you to be sensitive. The blessing. Is an operation of the Holy Spirit upon a man's life. Please listen. The blessing is different from blessings. The blessing is an operation of the Holy Spirit. It's like an anointing. When it comes upon your life like a mantle, the assignment of the blessing is to compel creation to respond to you as though you were in the Garden of Eden. Please listen. When God made man, he blessed them. When the flood came, God blessed Noah. It was, it was um, Isaac that said, Make me venison that I will eat, that my soul will rejoice, that I may bless you. What did he give Jacob? That when Esau came, he said, There's nothing left. How did he know it had left him? Listen, the blessing is transferable. You can carry it bodily. God opened my eyes to this revelation and it surprised me. Hallelujah. The blessing does three things. Number one, it attracts people, it attracts resources, and it attracts opportunities. Never forget this. The blessing on you mysteriously but undeniably begins to attract people he said, all men seek for thee. That's what they told Jesus. All men seek for thee. The blessing can make your critics bless you. 
although they are talking against you. The blessing can make people you do not know. He says your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. We are going to pray and say, Lord, as I partake of this communion, every, every pronouncement, every cause of negativism over my life, the blessing will take it away today forever. Lift your voice and pray, please. Lift your voice and pray. The blessing is coming upon me. The blessing will change my life. The blessing will veto the limitations of my background and take me to another dimension. Please pray. Be a believer. It doesn't take time. It takes the principles of the kingdom. hallelujah hallelujah now i'm going to bless the communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but the bible says is this not the cup of the blessing the cup of the blessing there is a mystery it gives you access to receive that mantle i have seen the blessing work i know it works hallelujah now we have to be very fast there are several overflows and please i need you to cooperate with all the people leading there we're going to be very very fast you will come pick the cup and the wafers and drop it if there's anyone under the anointing ushers please as they fall under the anointing shift them away so that we can hurry up on this we have just about 10 or so minutes to do this because we need to prophesy something must come upon your life hallelujah immediately after that please prepare while worship is going on we'll raise a high praise for two to five minutes and then we'll burn those things and we'll speak father in the name of jesus this is ordinary wafers i stretch my hands over this and the ones outside in all of the overflows one two three outside down to the roadside let this lose its earthly significance as wafers and wine i pray the Bible says in Hosea chapter 12, it says, I have multiplied visions. I have spoken to you through the prophets. He said, I have used similitudes. May the power of the highest, the power that is responsible for performance, come upon these wafers, come upon this wine, in the name of Jesus, that everyone who partakes by faith, may they step into a strange order of the blessing. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Please, let's come and just take some. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Please, everyone should partake of the communion. Everyone, including children, if you can give them, please give it to them. God bless you. Can we hope we have to be very fast? Please, very fast. Just pick one and then make your way very quickly. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah.
happening there? Why the delay? Please stand back. Let our parents come through the call. You are just watching. You should direct them, please. Break every chain. 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 There's an army. There's an army. There's an army. There's an army rising now. They will break every chain. 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 Casting crowns. Lifting hands. Putting arms. What I've come to do I'd like you to begin to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues for what is coming upon you. Pray in tongues in the spirit. Go ahead and begin to pray as you return back to your seat. Please, we have to be fast. Just pick the wine, the bread, and then you can give way for others. There is an anointing upon it. Please, as you walk, just come out very fast. We have to be very fast. Beautiful you are, wonderful you've been, you are glorious, faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward, you are glorious, my God.
Please pray and say, Lord, something must land upon my life tonight. An anointing must come upon me. An unction from the Holy One must swallow up every challenge in my life. Pray like a believer that you are. Pray like a believer that you are. You are able to change the stories of men, oh God. You are able to change the stories of men. Communion is here to come. Just be patient and pray. You can take the bread and just be patient. Please, if the welfare need help, can we have some hands to help them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command the gates that hold the next level of my life be open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray from your heart. Command the gates. And the gates kapa superadaba, zikete kete pras karababa, supere kuto supere dis kalaba, brands kapa rato shoto prete kete. Gates be open, be open, be open, be open, be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every cause of hardship. My family. My loved ones. By the mystery of the blood. I bring it to an end right now. Lift your foot and begin to pray. The cause of hardship, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow, the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow. Loved ones, we bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. We bring it to an end by the power. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. We bring it to an end 
we bring it to an end by the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, every covenant I enter into, knowingly or knowingly, is responsible for the failures in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to take authority over every sickness. Every strange manifestation in your body. The Bible says your body know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Every tree that has not been planted by my father tonight the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus no sickness HIV must leave Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the sound of padlocks. That's what I'm hearing in my ears. Please, I like you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you inside and outside. We have prayed. The number eight stands for new beginning. It must leave you. Everything that has not been by the ordinances of heaven it must leave you right now lift your hands as i pray for you i tell you the fire of god will fall in this place please shift all these things our time is almost up but we must deal with these things when i finish praying at the count of three i like you to shout jesus with all your heart i hear sounds like an opening of a padlock This apostolic anointing, every gate, every altar, every destiny, every family, of the bondage, of the yokes, every fraternity, the activities of necromancers, the manipulated destinies, I declare that I
Jesus. Every enchantment, every divination, fight up in the name of Jesus. Lift your Hallelujah. I see at least 30 ladies. 30. 30 sisters. Strange things that come to you in the night as you sleep. Right now as I begin to pray, the fire will begin to set you free. Right now. Look. 30 of them. At least they are waiting. Entity. falling i see god doing a lot of things with ladies ladies especially ladies sisters sisters strange spirits that oppress the destinies of people strange spirits that tie down people sisters at the count of three as you shout jesus i see the Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. The Lord is showing me the cause of death over certain families. I see at least 13 families. It's like a mantle. People die strangely. Keep your hands lifted. I'm about to pray right now. Father, wherever you are right now, you spirit of Shout that name Jesus at the count of three. I'm seeing chains of people's foot outside. Chains. And the to release you to deliver. I'm three. find them hallelujah i want to pray for you this is an impartation now this is not deliverance this is going to come mighty on many of us listen there is an anointing that makes men succeed you have prayed there is an anointing 
that makes men succeed bring this gentleman this is madness that's what i'm saying leave him right now i command you you must go right now and never return restore the fortunes of his family right now in the name of jesus christ for there is a name that is above every other name let him go free in the name of jesus please if you miss this you have wasted your fast this is the time i want you to open up your heart we have to suspend the number of, help them please so they don't enjoy themselves we have to suspend the number of things right now because we are supposed to be praying on the request i don't want to keep us too long here but you have to receive this there is an empowerment that can change a man's life please listen hear me when i tell you there is an anointing that can change a man it's not by might it's not by power i want you to receive this with all your heart there will be a mighty impartation lift your hands father there is nothing i have that did not come from you your people have fasted they have prayed it's time for them to enter on usual levels of accomplishments i stand upon this election of grace according to the measure of the gift of christ in my life at the count of three let the heavens be open and let there be strange impartations for the heads of department please where are you quickly just come up here there is an anointing upon me don't stop don't stop be sensitive please in the name of jesus you will step into strange levels of grace join them it's not by might it's not by power in the name of jesus greater fire greater grace step into new dimensions of wisdom fire in the name of jesus drink of the of the spirit greater levels greater fire in the name of jesus greater fire can i pray for you? a new level of what 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 said the spirit of i bring you to a new level a new dimension of what and grace in the name of jesus please lift your hands I pray for you. the anointing to pray is going to hit some of you like a tornado. My God, stand up. It's a public anointing. ministry i want to release it upon you it's not something you beg for there is a mantle the bible says and japanese was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you at least hallelujah worship team hold your hands i see a fresh unction 
for some history hold your hands i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for the instrumentals to everybody right now that fire comes on you one by one as i stretch my hands Mystery, spirit, of God, new option, new something from heaven, something from heaven, something from heaven. Hallelujah! I prophesy to you: everything that was lost shall be returned to you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored to you. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. Ralph, lift your hands. There is a mantle of success coming upon you right now. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. You are a military man. You are a pastor. But God is about to distinguish you. I see a connection with generals. Generals in the army. The Lord is saying that's what he's doing for you. He will do it by his spirit. He will do it by his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are they? Okay, come Victor quickly. Yerima, come quickly. Okay, they are the heads of departments left. You will step into new levels. It's not by power. It's not by might. Step into that strange dimension of the spirit. Right now in the name of Jesus. New dimensions of creativity. New dimensions of power new dimensions of power i pray for those who are students here hallelujah everyone here marked for death marked for death pastor femi the lord is visiting your family i see an altar of fire that's what i'm seeing an altar this altar has tied down your family i'm seeing particularly your father your father this altar has tied him down tied him down nothing he does prospers but the lord is saying i'm changing it I'm changing it. Listen. I don't care what you have lost. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you. Pursue. here nine months from now return with your miracle children every important man here return with your miracle children hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done i want to release this unction of favor there is an anointing for favor Please believe me you argue this life will punish you in a serious way there is an anointing for favor he said i will lose the loins of kings you will suck the breast of kings that's what the bible says lord i pray the mysterious anointing upon this ministry that commands unusual favor i pray for you wherever you are like fire it comes upon you now take it take it take it now receive it receive it inside
Hallelujah. Now I want to release the blessing. My life is a product of the blessing. It's an operation of the spirit that attracts people. That's what is responsible for this crowd you're seeing. I cannot fully explain it, but I know that is dangerously mysterious. It's an anointing that gives you access, uncommon access. I have met kings. I have met politicians. I have met noble men. I have met billionaires. I have met strange men. Brothers and sisters, I will lie to you if I tell you it's just because my name is Joshua Selman. There is such an anointing. I want to release it upon you. It's called the blessing. I pray for you. Shikapatita. My God and my King. I stand upon my bare foot tonight. In the name that is above all names. As touching this anointing God has given me. I count of three. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. In one minute. I like us to pray for all our elderly ones who have come to honor us from the depth of your heart prophesy upon them pray for our mothers our fathers scattered all over here in one minute lord we multiply your grace Sorry, we may not have time to do all of that. Our time is gone. We are very, very late. But I want to pray here. Exodus 16, 16 14, 14. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. When they got to the Red Sea, listen, the Egyptians were behind, coming with fury and anger. Before them, the Red Sea, and they were afraid. And Moses said, fear not he says stand still and you will see the salvation of the lord he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more i pray for you every challenge you wrote before the god of israel i come tonight in the volume of the book as it has been written that challenge Hallelujah. I pray for your expectations. Tonight is the night of manifestation. If you have it, lift it up. If you don't lift, if you don't have it, lift your hands. Please. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men, and we beheld its glory. Father, I pray. 
from the realm of the spirit there is a mystery of manifestation he said the spirit and the bride says come come to us the spirit and the word materializes things every please if you are holding even if it's for your loved ones don't worry just lift it to god i'm praying these expectations between now and the end of this month we turn them into testimonies listen your eyes have seen them your ears have heard them now i command your hands to handle them I command your hands to handle them. by the mystery of divine supply there was a raven that brought food for elijah at brook Cherid. i don't care what needs to be done for these expectations to materialize the power to make it happen receive it right now receive it right now and one more time i call your helpers helpers of your destiny hear the word of the lord from the north to the south the east and the west wherever you are between now and next week show up in the life of god's people show the life of God's people. Show the life of God's people. I declare to you, this is the least level you will ever be in life. Everything that has not been working in your life, go back to it now. I command you to walk. I command you to walk. Everyone come jobless here yeah. between now and April no matter how long it has been we put a job in your hands by prophecy in the name of jesus everyone on any building project here that has been grounded the finishers are not in comes upon that project in the name of jesus i pray for you beginning from tonight that mark of honor and greatness whoever sees your face i command them to bless you whoever looks upon your face i command the release of favor oh you shall from today be called pula and hefsiba you shall be called pula that one with that garden and isaac bless his son and he said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed i pray for you may a fragrance live your life tonight and attract everyone who should bless you in the name of jesus lift your hands and give jesus praise for tonight's service hallelujah very quickly you're worshiping with us tonight for the first time wherever you are please i'd like you to make your way forward inside and outside please clear the way for them in one minute you notice that for a few days we did not welcome our new people just one minute and we're out of here very quickly you're worshiping with us for the first time make your way god bless you quickly 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 while they come out let's listen to the following announcement while they come out please make your way there are so many people make your way to the front we want to bless you and speak over your lives now listen please I encouraged everyone listen please don't be distracted we're almost done I encouraged everyone was it on Tuesday and when or Wednesday when we considered sacrifice please I want you to tie a sacrifice not tonight go and ask the Lord what is the demand the difference between an offering us and a seed is one is free will a seed is instructed hallelujah I like you to pray from the depth of your heart and say lord instruct me what seed am i going to tie and sow into this ministry into your work please this is not some human manipulation by the grace of god and with all humility god has been faithful to us and we're very responsible people but i would cheat you and i would deceive you and mislead you if after spending seven days from the first day we started this there is no day my seed has not been going speaking for me hallelujah the bible says the seed will bruise the head of the serpent the seed can bruise the head of the serpent 
So please, I'd like you to agree with God. For those who came with your seed, if you came with your seed after the service, the treasurer is here, please listen. Aside from the finance department, no one should, uh, to, should ask you to give him money, not online, especially those online. Please tell them, anybody asking you for money online in the name of the ministry is an armed robber. It's a thief. Praise the Lord. Just forward the details to the media department and they'll know how to deal with that issue. We do not make any of such solicitations. Anybody using my face online, just know that you are dealing with a fraudster and a thief. I'm not even on social media. So anybody you see is just a, a, a faithful follower. And if he misuses that opportunity, may the God I serve punish him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So please, but you must make... Can you project the ministry's account number? Is that possible? We have an official account number. If you are making any seeds, people have been asking me. I know one of our mothers was asking me yesterday. Please, any seed, we do not do ministry seeds to personal accounts. No. Don't send funds for ministry to my personal account. No. It's very wrong. We have a ministry account. And these are the details. And so you can please take advantage of it. Make sure that you make a sacrifice. Involve your loved ones. They may criticize you. No problem. When you get the results, it will change your life forever. So you can make your payments or you can meet the treasurer, the finance department. The ushers can help you after service. In the name of Jesus. Let's honor those who are worshiping with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. And we're five today. Amen and amen. So you are very blessed to be worshiping with us. We're here every Friday. So we'll be here next week again, Friday. Do join us. The Lord is changing people. And he will take you from one dimension to the other. For those who came from far, you can go to our media stand, get teachings and all the resources that can bless you even as you go back in Jesus' name. We want to pray and speak over your life. I want you to know you will never be the same. Stretch your hands, saints of God, in one minute and let's prophesy over their lives. In the name of Jesus, we call you blessed. Go back with this grace. Go and reproduce it. May the hand of the Lord be with you. We plant in you a fresh passion for the things of the kingdom. Everything that is not consistent with the ways of the kingdom lives your life forever. We bless you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I'd like you to follow a gentleman. There's a lady there. They're all waving their hands. They'll have your details and will communicate to you. They'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. God bless you and thank you. Thank you so much. Let's honor them once again. Hallelujah. All school of ministry students, classes resume after the long period of fasting. So 8 o'clock, please be in class and be praying. Um, I'll be in Kaduna tomorrow ministering at a church. For those of you who came uh, from Kaduna, you can find out more details with the protocol department. I trust that it will be an awesome time tomorrow in the name that is above all names. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just allow them move out and then we'll rise up to share the grace. Um, about the ministry cake well I'm not sure it will go around but I assure you we will eat on your behalf hallelujah and um, as we eat just know that you are eating in us in the name of Jesus Christ but I would love welfare can you put at least a little piece for some of our mothers let's honor them I can't begin to mention names a dad prof you may not know them please honor them so many and I was told that there are so many people uh, Mrs. Ehoche, Mrs. Um, um, Onu, and um, Mrs. Eje, Mommy Eje, I was told. So I don't know if she's around or she's gone. Our daddy prof, there are so many people. Please bless them. I don't know if Madam Ladi is around also. Bless her. Bless every other person inside and outside. Please don't be offended if I didn't call your name. The Lord bless and honor you. I know uh, Mrs. Abejide is somewhere here too, somewhere scattered. The Lord will bless and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we rise up? Hallelujah. You walk into the manifestation of everything we have prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ. Beginning from tonight, your life becomes a circle of unending testimonies. 
everything that has refused to multiply in your life it begins to multiply in the name of jesus christ after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people and tell them it's another dimension the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you see you next week thank you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.